Hi everyone! So today we will be continuing on with the Spellbinders Crafty Advent Calendar and as I mentioned in the first video I'll be doing you know five days at a time. Uh, I did day one on its own but today I'll open two, three, four, and five and then see if we can make something cute with those guys and possibly together or just a couple of them or however. But um, I did initially receive this free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase. I am still as links. Um, yeah, so let's just get right to it. Uh, let's check it out. So day two is over here. Nice size calendar. Sorry, I can't get it in my viewfinder here, or whatever you call this angle. I don't know. All right, crafting isn't a hobby, it's a feeling. Oh, <laughs> oh well, okay, there you go. So let me open this guy up. I love that it has this little cover. I know the year before, some of the times my little dies had slipped out of where they were supposed to be. So that helps keep them in place and I just like to open that carefully too. Oh my goodness, look it's a little stamp set. Aw, sending good thoughts and then the little stamp set. I believe these are acrylic, just because I know people like to know everything about, you know, what we have just by the look of it. Uh, it doesn't smell like photopolymer. So definitely in my opinion acrylic and you can tell just the way it just cuts off like straight. Uh, acrylic um, photopolymer just looks a little bit different. Obviously the smell um, some people, you know, I love the smell of the photopolymer stamps. But anyway, so we have Sending Good Thoughts with a cute little uh, floral image. Hopefully you can see that. Nice little size. Um, okay, so that's number two. Well, I'll put it back in just because it'd be easier that way. Uh, number three, box number three is over here. It's this kind of thinner and longer area here. So let's open this guy up. Ah! And as people had mentioned, the other people already opened theirs up, and that's fine. Um, I received mine from Spellbinders, and they asked us not to open them till the first, and then on the days that are actually due, you know what I'm saying? Like, not ahead of time. So I am doing what I was asked, <laughs> and some other people, obviously, if you picked it up, you might have already opened it, and that's your prerogative, right? So number three is a little border die set, or, okay, well, we have this little guy. Um, and it's gonna just cut out the whole strip, right? And then we have the little edge kind of border thing. So if you want to put that on a card, you would have the edge die, and then you can have this that just complements it, right? Super cute. It's about uh, four and a quarter inches wide, so it's great for like an A2 size type card, and then, you know, maybe half an inch, um, maybe three quarters of an inch uh, deep. So we have that. That's number three. Super cute die set. Number four is over here. A little smaller. Let's check this guy out. Oh my goodness. Oh, there are words. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Very card friendly. And let's see what these words say. <laughs> um, I love that they're just like lined up already. It looks like it says... Okay, I don't know. Uh, from? Yes, and I dropped one back in here, so let's not do that. From, and then to, you, and me. And then they have backgrounds for them. That is awesome. I don't think I'll be able to put these back in here just at the moment, so I'll just put them over here. So that's number four. And then day five. Oh, yeah, day five was over here. I remember mentioning that. I was like, oh, that's a long one over here. So day five. Let's check it out. Oh, I should check my lighting before we do this. Okay. Ah, that little... Oh, it's a little higher up. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, I don't like destroying this thing, but I might have to. There we go. Yep, that's what I thought. I didn't mention it. I said, oh, it's probably an embossing folder, just because the way it looked. Um, oh, getting my nails. Hold on. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I was going to say, none of these have really been stuck down yet. They don't have glue or tape in the back. They're just stuck down there. And day five is a little standard embossing folder with, like, little dots. Very cute. I think we will definitely be able to make a little something out of this. So what I'm going to do is grab a card base and some different items and so we'll get I started. I have some ideas. I was trying to incorporate all of it and possibly some of it, but um, I think we'll be able to use it all today. So, uh, card base. A2 size paper, which is 8.5 by 11. I'm just going to cut a 5.5 because I need to make a card base. And then with this guy I can still use this to measure it. That was 5.5 four and a quarter. Put this guy on here and get myself a score line and um, you know what I'm actually gonna need a piece of paper so I would definitely normally make two card bases from this but I'm gonna cut this one down. Um, you know if you want to use a precision die that's great so I'm gonna cut this at four and one eighth. 
actually and yeah I'm trying to see if I'm gonna use this it might go all the way to the end okay fine it's gonna have to be a whole top piece just because this might be right exactly four and a quarter let me see I want to see where it actually where it actually cuts. Oh, it's four and an eighth. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and just make this uh, four and an eighth inches wide. Oopsie! What am I doing? I'm cutting four and eighth by five and three eighths. Sorry, guys. Five and three eighths. And while I'm here, I guess I should go ahead and grab. Um. I was going to do some stamping on this and then it's going to go on top of our card base that we just created and then um, some embossing with the little embossing strip there so let me grab another piece of paper that I want to coordinate with that and I'll be right back. So the embossed area on this is about just over an inch and a half and then I was planning on using the edge of this guy, let me see, because this way uh, and you know, I'm going to orient it this way because I was thinking about doing it a long ways, but you know what? It works better this way. So, um, this is just scrap piece of paper as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and make it an inch and three quarters because I'm going to cut into it by five and three eighths. This will make sense in just a minute unless I don't have enough for the five and three eighths. I might have to do it again. <laughs> so let me see. Uh, oh yeah, Jeez, no, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I got caught up. I kept thinking five and three eighths inches. We don't care about that right now. We just want this to be uh, four and eighth inch tall. So I went to cut another piece that was longer and then I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Um, hello, I was getting confused with my, myself. <laughs> so four and eighth inches tall. And sorry about the rough edit. And let's make sure we're cutting this where I want. Four and eighth, okay. So, just because I rough edit that, sorry, we have this piece, our card base that we made, the other pieces of paper that we cut, and we'll talk about those sides just right now, and then we have this guy. Okay, perfect. So, I could have made this deeper um, if you want to run it a couple times through the embossing folder, but I just made it embossing folder size. So, okay, sorry about that, guys. Our card base, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. This topper piece I'm going to stamp all over, and it's going to be this way, is uh, four and eighth by five and three eighths, because I, I like that. If you don't like that, then don't do that. Do something different, right? On this guy, what I'm going to do is take this little edge and cut it first, and then I'm going to run it through the embossing folder over here. So, something like that, and I'm uh, just eyeballing exactly where that I want that to be. I'm going to run this through and this is a standard embossing folder so after I'm cutting it I'm going to run it through this but let's do that first. I'll be right back. The standard embossing folder shouldn't be super thick but let me see if I can go through my marquee, my little machine. Otherwise, yeah no it's thicker than other standard embossing folders so I will run this through my Platinum 6 and just this is going to be covered up by this guy when we cut it out, so right now I'm just looking at the dots and I want to really get them on this edge. So I'm going to run this through my Platinum 6 and I'll be right yeah, back. These guys in the Platinum 6 is just, if you're using the old school plate, it's the platform and then one plate. If you're using the um, new Universal system, just read what it says. Um, Generally, I do the uh, 3D embossing on that one, so I don't really know the sandwich right now off the top of my head. But look how cute. So we're going to have this little guy. And let's do some stamping. And I was going to make this really just fun colors. Not Christmassy, more like everyday kinds of colors. And so you can see that you can use this throughout the year. What I'm going to do is grab this guy. And I'm trying to think if I should use a platform. I was just going to go for it, but when you do that, you also want to be careful because you don't want to not stamp, right, or miss areas. But let me bring this guy out. This is just a stamping <laughs> mat. It's nice and rubbery, and it'll help give me some extra little pressure here. And I'm just going to go for it. So I'm going to take this guy. Again, if you want to use a platform, go for it, but I'm going to move around and with the platform you have to really kind of clean it off every time you do that and I don't want to take the time to do that, so I'm just going to go for it. And hopefully we'll have good luck. I'll really pay attention to make sure that I'm really hitting every area. So um, 
let's just get started. So I'm going to place that on there. I'm really pushing, not super, super hard, because obviously I don't want to get ghosting, but hard enough that I know that I'm stamping the whole thing. Maybe here. So I'm just going to go around and really stamp this guy up. Now, my plan is that this is basically going to cover this area anyway, so if you don't want to continue stamping over there, you don't have to. But I do want to get in here. Uh, I don't want it to look the same. <laughs> That's the other thing. Oh, maybe we'll turn it this way. There we go. And pop this in here. I don't know if that makes a big difference or not. Just making sure I'm making good contact. Look at that. Cute. Of course, I got ink on my fingers. That's a must. Let's put some here. Finish this area off. Okay. Ink that again. Get right in here. So I'm just trying to fill this up without, you know, overlapping too much. Just making it look nice and organic. That's awesome. Again, this guy will be here, so I have a little bit more. Maybe in here. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, if I want to get a little whisper of something in there, I guess I could. Just something in there, right? And just holding it down, sorry. Hopefully you saw everything I was doing. There we go. And I missed that spot because I didn't care about that so much. So we're gonna do that. That, lovely. Let me go clean this off, clean off my mat, and I'll be back. So I am getting inspired by just having done that. I'm like, oh, you know what? We can also matte layer this, you know, I could have stamped that perfectly so that it would be less visible, uh, or more visible, right, because I missed that little corner. But what I think I'm going to do is, this is roughly, let me see this pink piece again, it's about one and a half. Let's get, ooh, some shiny, shiny gold that is two inches by four and an eighth, okay? Hopefully I don't get mixed up with my own <laughs> numbers here two inches. Bummer that this thing is cut in a funny way because I want to get the two inches off of here. So let's just go over here and I'll cut that extra bit off. I always like to look for one edge that I know I didn't cut like this <laughs> to get what we need. Um, four and an eighth. Oh my gosh, it's already cut a four and an eighth basically. So I must have got a matte layer from this before or just cut it in half because this was a four size paper. Take a little bit off of there. And then two inches in this direction. And what I'm going to do is just place this on the edge and run this through. It'll be like a little matte layer behind for this guy. So roughly the same as what I did before. Hopefully, you know, I got that right on there. Uh, that looks good. I'm gonna run this through and I'll be right back. what we have here. Carefully remove that. Ah, uh, yes, okay. So it's pretty much right at the edge of this. You know, when you cut one, you cut the other, you're eyeballing. So just wanna make sure that that is trimmed away. It looks like it was, okay. All right. So let's just bring this over here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. And then I think with our little sentiments, I'll do the for you. The stamp has a sentiment. You can definitely use that. I'm gonna glue this down. All right, quick. And this is gonna be buttered up right to the end because of how I did my stamping. If I had changed my mind, if I had done that perfect stamping, I would have probably brought it in a little bit. But that's all right. Like that. And then this guy, we go on top of that. And just split the difference of the thickness here and the thickness back here, just to make it look a little more even. 
Ooh, you know what? I was going to cut this from gold just to bring more of that gold back, but I just used the gold, so let's cut this from black. Okay, I'm going to run this through a black piece of paper, and I'll be right back. This beautiful piece. Look at that. And I think to stick this down, I'm going to put glue on the back of my hand. And I was just looking at the words. We have from me, something there. from me to you, or to and from, obviously, that's for, like, those kinds of things. I didn't know why I thought I had the word for in there. I do not, so I think... We might use all of them, so it says from me to you, and just going to get this. Now, it can probably butt up right to the very end, but I'm just bringing it here to here. And honestly, this can even stand up like this if you want it to. You know, obviously, if you can put this at the top, if you wanted the card to look like this, and do whatever, like a little curtain. Cute. Okay, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Because if I do it in gold letters, I think it'll pop. But I want them to really stand out. So I think what we'll do is I'm going to run the words through by themselves. I don't really want the backgrounds. I don't know. In my opinion, I just want the, the words. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so gold lettering. So I'll run these through here. And then I'm going to run each one of them through white cardstock twice. So we're going to have three layers of the letters. Sorry about that. Makes my camera freak out. Run these through. And two times on white paper. And I'll be right back. I have all my little words here. And I left the glue on the back of my hand. But it dried in the meantime. So let's grab that. And I'm just going to stack up my letters. My letters. My words. Um, from. Stack it up on this other white from. If you want to drop shadow them, you can definitely do that. I want them for the sturdiness and the height that this is going to give me. So we have that, this here. Cute. And then the from the gold one. And we'll do the same thing with basically all the letters, the words, sorry. And then just gives them, again, a little sturdiness, super cute. You can definitely, definitely, like I said, drop shadow them as you can kind of see as I'm working with them. But I'm going to layer them. Slayer them? <laughs> layer them one right on top of the other. So there's a nice sturdy from. And I'll do the same thing with my other letterings. So let's see. We have from me to you. I think I would put it like down here. And I just like the way that looks. I know it might be hard to see on camera because just the way it looks. But um, in real life, you can see it pretty well. Sorry, there you go. Um, okay, so that's what I'll do. So how I'm going to judge this is I'm going to get this. You can use a little, oh, what's it called? A um, tweezer or something if you'd like, but I'm just going to eyeball this. So I'll start with the U and put it down as straight as I can. And then the two. And then I'll build up the other parts. That looks pretty good. And then from me to you. So let's put the me here. Again, I'm completely eyeballing this. <laughs> and I think it'll be cute. This is pretty close to the edge, so I'm going to put that close to like this portion here. And let's see if we can get that all on there from me to you. Maybe pick that up a little bit. All right, guys, and we used all the pieces from today. And it would have been really cute with the car because I feel like the car would have made a cute, really cute gift tag. So you have the two in the from, and obviously I have a gift tag in the background on that one. But you can see that it fits on there really nicely. And then today is just more of an everyday, really cute card. So thanks for watching guys. Thank you so much Spellbinders for sending these for review initially there and keep an eye out and the next day will be on the 10th whenever I present this again. So I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.